Today's mom jeans are high-waisted, looser jeans that are fitted at the waist and the bottom. This trend was very popular during the 1990s when my mom, who was in Generation X, was my age. However, the denim trend began in the 1980s when Calvin Klein started the My Calvin campaign. The trend of loose, high-waisted jeans really took off in the early 1990s. The style we now call mom jeans has greatly evolved since the beginning of denim. Today's version of mom jeans are derived from the style jeans that mothers would wear in the 1990s, which were high-waisted, tight around the stomach, but loose and straight-legged down the legs. This style also had an elastic waistband instead of a denim waist, which would require a belt. These jeans were made to be versatile for mothers who are busy taking care of children or working around the house. Because these, because these jeans were so loose, mothers were able to be comfortable in a day-to-day -day life while also wearing a presentable outfit. Through talking to my mom about mom jeans, I learned that her generation started to wear what we call mom jeans while she was in high school. The jeans that Generation X wore while in high school and college were very similar to the mom jean that is in style today. Generation X also took the typical jean that their moms wore and adapted it to fit their own styles. The younger generation of the 1990s decided to opt for the denim waistband, choosing the style to have a true denim feel. Generation X also adapted these jeans, making them a little tighter throughout the legs. After the 1990s, the popular style of denim jeans took a drastic turn. Jeans in the early 2000s got tighter and tighter. With the turn of the century, denim jeans went from extremely high-waisted to extremely low-waisted. The mom jeans of the 1980s and 1990s had some influence on the jeans of the early 2000s, inspiring these jeans to have a looser fit leg. However, it is obvious that this decade gave their own twist to denim, not really glorifying the mom jean style. The trend of mom jeans came back into style in the late 2010s and is still in trend today. The nickname for the style became the common term for these jeans in the late 2010s, where teenage girls started to want to wear the jeans that their mothers, who are part of Generation X, would have worn when they were their daughter's ages. Therefore, the term mom jean was created. Companies have manipulated this style jean to be more appealing to the common teenager, adding rips and giving the jean more fit and tightness, for this is the fit that was previously in style and most teenagers appeal to. Mom jeans is not the only fashion trend that has made its way from the 1990s to now. It is popular for teenagers and young adults to dress much as their parents would have during the 90s, with items such as mom jeans, scrunchies, fanny packs, and white quote-unquote dad sneakers. The youth and young adult of society wanting to recreate the popular culture of their parents confirms that popular culture is an evolving circle of trends. Although today's society has added its own touch to the trends, their inspiration and influence came much from the 1990s. The recirculation of mom jeans, along with other fashion trends from the 1990s, fits nicely into the interaction approach to popular culture. In his book, Mix It Up, Popular Culture, Mass Media, and Society, Grazian emphasizes how popular culture spreads throughout a society as an outcome of interpersonal encounters experienced among groups. This is evident in the case of fashion, where the group of young adults in today's society takes the fashion of their parents' youth years, allowing today's trends to be influenced by the 1990s. Grazian also mentions how the interaction approach considers the influence of one's friends, neighbors, parents, and almost any relationship of the like on the distribution and adoption of trends within popular culture, such as mom jeans. Since the interaction approach looks at the spreading of popular culture, such as word of mouth, picture sharing, and online interaction, it is easy to see how the spread of mom jeans trend fits into this approach. With mothers showing their children what they wore in the 1990s, teenagers and young adults have been inspired to take the ideas from fashion at that time and integrate it into today's society. Also, the interaction approach emphasizes that certain individuals in society have more influence than others, such as popular Instagram or YouTube stars. Since these stars are typically around the same ages as their audiences, their style choices greatly influence the style that their audiences choose to copy. Therefore, since Generation X, the mothers, are influencing social media stars to wear mom jeans, and therefore social media stars are influencing their audiences, mom jeans have become highly integrated into what is seen as popular culture and trendy in today's fashion.